I thought I'd do a quick video on how I edit live drums um, and how I quantize them in Pro Tools using this beat detective. Um, first, I usually make a demo of the song uh, with programmed drums like this. Which I then send to the drummer so he can learn the song. In this case, it's uh, the drummer's name is John. Then he comes to the studio. And he plays to the song. We do a couple of takes. Um, and then I pick uh, pick the bars that I like the most. Yeah, as you can hear, he's a real good drummer. Uh, but sometimes, anyway, you, you still want to tighten up the, the drums um, even more. Um, especially in some kind of pop and rock music uh, of today. You, it's like it's become a, a part of the, the sound almost. So, first I listen to the different takes. And let's say I like this one. I do a copy and a new playlist and paste it to the new playlist. And I listen some more. Maybe I like this. Yep, sounds good. I paste it to the new playlist. And then I do a. Uh, Just so there's no clicks on our pops. And a crossfade there. Something like that. And I do this for the whole song, for the whole track. Often I uh, make a duplicate of the playlist, go back, and then I consolidate, and then I pick the part that I want to quantize. In this case I'm gonna do these eight bars, and I open Beat Detective, uh, and I let Beat Detective capture the selection and I make sure that it starts and stops at the right beats. Capture and then I click analyze and what this does is uh, Beat Detective just detects uh, the regions. I could do this with, with all the tracks uh, or with all the, the channels in the drums, but I usually get a better result just picking the bass drum, the snare drum, and the toms. Do another capture, and another analyze. Like so. And then I highlight the whole drum kit. And then I just have a look and see that Beat Detective did a good job. Sometimes it finds the wrong transients. Like if this was here, I just move it by hand. But this looks all right. Here you can see it's a kind of a flam between the the tom and the snare. But uh, this is a good pick. I think uh, maybe I do the same here. Just move that one. As you can see the bass drum is off, like so. 
and then I separate all the transients. I usually do like a five millisecond before the separation just to keep all the transients. Click separate, and then I click conform. Um, I find this one to be pretty important. I never want to quantize hundred percent. I want to keep a little bit of feel left. Depending on the song and depending on the drummer, of course, maybe you know, like seventy-five percent or something is is good for this song. Click conform. As you can see now, the 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 hits have been moved. But I want to smooth the editing. So I do a fill and cross fade. Five milliseconds usually is fine. So it was a really good drum take before, but now it's a little, yeah, it's a little bit tighter. So what I do now is I listen and see if can if I can hear any clicks or pops. This one sounds all right. Uh, usually, when I'm done, I uh, make a duplicate, put it on a another playlist, and then I go back to the original playlist, and then I consolidate. Uh, so there's no, yeah. So there will be no drums missing when I when I. Uh, mix the song. So yeah, that was how I edit my drums, live drums, and how I um, uh, quantize them with Beat Detective in Pro Tools. Thank you.